Stop. I did not kill him. That's not the point. Well, that's a clip of Anatomy of a Fall, a new film that was released at the Toronto International Film Festival. And joining us on this Friday is T.T. Sternenzi, and you just came back from the festival. I have to ask first, how was it? <laughs> uh, I want to say it was amazing, but of course, this was really the first major festival that we were having during the strikes. Right. So it was a little muted mm. in that, you know, ordinarily Toronto is really an, a performer's festival. So right. people go to the fest, you know you're gonna see those big premiere films, but you're also expecting to see stars attach to those films exactly. who will be there. You're expecting to see potential Oscar nominees who are gonna be talking about their work. It was none of that. Wow. None of that at all. So it was a different, different environment. The films were still good, but not having, you know, the presence of the writers and the stars there and toned things down a surprising bit. Surprising because so many things have been canceled that, you know, this continued on. Were you surprised yeah. that that still happened? No, or? I wasn't surprised okay. by that. I mean, again, during the season, you know, literally right around the same time you had Telluride, Telluride and Venice that were also taking place. All of those festivals kind of knew that they were going to have, you know, have these great films. I think in Venice's case, they were able to get some waivers or exemptions for mm -hmm. certain certain performers to actually be able to, to appear because it was again, you know, they were doing it outside the U.S. I guess. And on the flip side, here in Toronto, they were able to bring international film okay. stars and directors and writers in as well. But it also kind of set up the point that you know, not to, you know, disregard those films at all, but right. really. No one, was, I hate to say it, but people weren't there to see the stars of those films right. necessarily. You wanted to see the bigger names here. Yeah, so you definitely felt a difference, but there were some films that stayed with you when you went to the festival, right? Yes, I saw 17 films during the festival. Um, Ava DuVernay's Origin was the, I saw that sort of in the middle of the festival. Mm -hmm. It had already gotten, you know, a, a big crowd rave at Venice. It got picked up by Neon there. So by the time we got it in Toronto, it was already arriving with some buzz. That buzz wasn't enough. Oh, really? It was, <laughs> it was one of those experiences because she's adapting Isabel Wilkerson's book on cast, which is really her way of kind of looking at, instead of talking about race and racism, she believes that if you look at you know, the situation in India with right. the caste system, the Nazi Germany and how they were using the law to really, you know, mm -hmm. basically set up an extermination of, of the Jews. And then what we've done here with race in the United States, those are all connected. And her yeah. point, the, the thesis of the book is that race wasn't the factor in all of that. It was really caste. Interesting. So we get this film, which you think might be a documentary, but it's not because instead Ava decides to take all of that, those fact-based pieces, but then build a story around Wilkerson's life it's herself. Wow. And it is emotional and gripping. And I sat with a critic who's a, a really good friend about halfway through I started crying during a couple of scenes wow. and it was just one of those things that you just, di I, I didn't even want to try to stop it because yeah. it was so powerful and so moving and yet you were also getting this really strong history lesson as well. It does sound incredible yeah. and the cast system, we don't see that as much, that perspective of it, so that's right. pretty interesting there. Also, Anatomy of a Fall, tell us a little bit about that one. It was the first film I saw. I knew going into it, again, we're talking about the Palme d'Or winner at, at the Cannes Film Festival. We knew it was going to be good. Uh, Sandra Huller, who is the actress who's the lead in this, she had two films at the festival. She's going to be in the Oscar discussion as well. That film is going to be in that discussion, and it is another really gripping story. She plays a writer suspected of killing her husband in their French chalet. The only witness, per se, that was there at the time of the accident or whatever happened to the husband is their son who's visually impaired. So there's, see. right, yeah. so there's this whole question of did she do it, didn't she do it, and I tell you, it's not giving anything away. The film doesn't force you to make a decision about it. Okay. You watch the entire thing, you're there with it, and I guarantee you if you were to go in and see it multiple times, 
you'd walk away with a different impression every time you walked out. Both? That's a sign of a good film. <laughs> Both sound compelling. Where can people see it? Uh, you know, both of those films are going to come out during award season. Uh, there are no timetables yet okay. for the releases for, for those or for most of the films that I saw, although because of the streaming landscape we have, I know those films are going to be available. And as they come out, you will hear me talk about them here. You will hear me talk about Origins again. I will talk about crying during that screening uh -huh. again. <laughs> I have no concern about that because I guarantee you there are going to be a lot of people who will see that film and who will feel the same way as they're watching okay, it. Okay, we'll definitely keep a lookout for that. Real quickly, just the grades for each. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my two favorite films of the festival. Okay. Um, if I could give anything, and every once in a while I give an A+. Plus, All right. I might give an A plus to both of these films. Wow. That they says were, a lot. They were one and two <laughs> on my list at, as I thought about this coming out of the festival. They will be the films that I will be thinking about throughout most of the season. They're going to stay with me. They're going to haunt me oh, in a lot goodness. of ways. So A plus is for both. That's pretty incredible. Anatomy of a Fall and Origin. Again, we'll be looking out for those. Thank you so much, TT. Thank you.